I want to become a great mixed martial artist. I beat Whitaker and fight Nada Sanya, and that's all there is to it. I don't want to hear any other name after I beat Whitaker. No, there's not. You gotta get fully out, out. Yeah. Oh, oh. One out, 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 out. Welcome to Team Carbon in Liverpool. Dad and Till is in that main event on Yaz Island, taking on Robert Whitaker in a final eliminator for the UFC Middleweight Championship. Let's get stuck in. See how's it going on. Get me mask on first. Hey! I just do the work Colin provides, mate, and hopefully it does well. But yeah, I'm eating so fast and so hard. I'm here in my own hand. This is my craft. I always remember for you now that you know your craft. So I'm better week in, week out. So for every fight, I hope to get a little bit better. Obviously, the fight's important now, but I want to become a great mixed martial artist. Hey! Yeah, I'm loving there. Sometimes I just call it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hey! Hey! He wants to prove how good he is. He knows how good he is. So he needs that type of opponent to bring the best out on him. And every time he gets that type of opponent, he shines, doesn't he? So whether you want a chess match, he'll win the chess match. If you want pure raw power, it probably gets harder than anyone else in the division, in my opinion. I see him going through sparring partner after sparring partner. I'm struggling to get him sparring partners now. That's how hard he's hit. He's quicker, he's faster, he's stronger than he's ever been. It seems like the lockdown has rocked a few fights, but it kind of brought you out of yourself. You seem to be enjoying it. Because I, I, I flourish in bad circumstances, mate. Because I've always wanted to be like in bad circumstances all my life. So I've always wanted to feel bad about myself for some reason. So I flourish when it's bad, but when it's good. Like, if I can give an example, I didn't really take the Maslow camp or the Maslow, Maslow fight seriously. And look what happened. I'm not taking nothing away, but that was just... I didn't take anything serious. I was drinking five weeks out from the fight. That's not what a fighter does. Bad, bad circumstances, I, I turn to good circumstances for myself. I'm not saying I'm going to go in there and knock around for 10 seconds. I could uh, go in there and get beat. It's a possibility, but I've done everything possible to not be beat. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, you don't crit there, no, no, you stay up in the ghetto. that. Come on, use the cage. Use the cage. Come on, back, back, back. He thrives. He actually, he doesn't like smoothness. It drives me insane as a coach, but he likes something strange, he likes that little spanner thrown in the way, he likes to overcome adversity, he likes, I don't know, he likes the, um, I always say the, uh, he likes to put the middle finger up people, it's a famous pitch and he's always doing it, but that's kind of his attitude, so throw a few spanners his way, he'll overcome them and come out on top. The heat, five rounds, gonna be tough, but you just have to get through it, no point sitting here and grumbling and complaining. It's just got through it, innit? And I will. I could come out and just knock him out clean first round, and so could he do the same to me. It's... Fighting's a very unpredictable sport. I beat Whitaker, I'm fighting Adesanya, and that's all there is to it. I don't want to hear any other name after I beat Whitaker. How long are we getting off? Don't worry about that, mate. Just I decide when I want to get off. <laughs> I mean, I think Whitaker may look at taking him down. He's very well rounded, isn't he, Whitaker? But he has got decent wrestling. But Till's wrestling's really good, you know what I mean? If you just, just watch the session, I presume you just recorded some of the session and you showing any clips of that. He's got good attack and he's got good defence. And we've, all, we've, also, we've already seen it in the octagon. You know what I mean, as soon as he, if he does get tucked down, it's only a split second. No one's kept him down, so he's um, he's ready. He's ready for any kind of wrestling. Anything from Whitaker is ready, he's good. I'll give him a chance now. Oh, look how far he goes. Are you just getting this? Can I get up again for a second? Oh man! Oh man! Got that up! Is he up? Oh, he's a strong The training we do gets them mentally strong, so not only they fit, I make sure they're always mentally prepared. So that's not an issue. The issue is me, especially with maybe Dara more than others. He always has a big cut, even though he's gone up a weight, a weight group. He's still going to have a big cut. We've got to go out a little lighter, so I'm going to try and, and, and anticipate maybe hitting a few hurdles when we get over the other side. So we're going to go out a little lighter than normal and hopefully seen for yourself, he is a lot leaner already. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
nothing to do, one, one, one training session a day. We were all bored out of our mind. I, I, I thought, how can I make this better, a better experience for everyone who follows me? And so everyone knows I was on, you know, like having jokes and that with the champ. I've been having jokes with Mike Perry, he took it the wrong way. So that's all I did. And I, I've got, I've got a, lot, a good, good sense of humour and I'm, I'm, I all to, to write things and weird and so. Perry seemed to enjoy that first, and you're having a bit of a laugh. I think it's just because he's got a new girl and stuff that's got a little bit of a friend sensitivity, but that's the fight game, mate. You know, you have to be able to take it all on the chin, and he obviously can't. So he's talking like next time he sees me, he's going to poke me in the eye or something. Come on, mate. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. I'm six foot two, I'd lift him straight off the street. But I just I don't take offence to it. I let him take offence to it, mate. I hope he does well, I hope he gets the fight he wants. He's never going to fight me. I'm fighting contenders, former champs. You know, he needs to worry about his path first before he starts worrying about me. Because he ain't getting that fight. On your undercard, two legends of the sport, Little Nog, Shogun. But I know you've got a, a relationship with Little Nog that goes back a few years yeah. as well. Tell us about that. I remember I was in Brazil, uh, Lil Nog used to come down and train with my strength and conditioning coach. So at the time I think I'd just got to the UFC or was just getting in. And he came down, we had a chat, we spoke, he, uh, and he asked if he, want, if, if he could train Muay Thai, he said the team in Muay Thai, and he wanted to train with me. So he came and done a few sessions with me, and I was just like starstruck, gobsmacked, and now <laughs> he's fighting on my undercard, so I don't take that into account, whatever. But you know, I'm, I'm the main event and the little Nog Shogun, Gustafsson and uh, Verduma, Colmain and stuff like that. all so, now, mate. Back from the Prad days, you know, it, no matter who you are, whether you're Darren Till, Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey, Chuck Liddell, John Jones, we're all in awe of them types of people because they're the pioneers in the start, of, starters of it. 